let us pray in the name of the father son and holy spirit one true god forever and ever amen holy 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 lord god almighty heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who has come and is to come in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest holy are you o god holy are you the mighty holy are you the immortal who were crucified for us have mercy on us holy are you o god holy are you the mighty holy are you the immortal who were crucified for us have mercy on us holy are you o god holy are you the mighty holy are you the immortal who were crucified for us Have mercy upon us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have pity and mercy on us, O Lord. Receive us from the midst of our prayers. And have mercy on us, O Lord. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O Creator. Glory to you, O Christ the King. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thy is the kingdom, the power, the glory, now and forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Shubha ho. Bula brugal roho kadisho. May mercy and compassion be shown to us. We can send for servants in both worlds forever. Amen. O Creator of the morning, who drive away darkness and enlighten and gladden creation, create in us the habits of virtue and expel the darkness of sin from us. Enlighten us and gladden us. by the glorious rays of your grace our lord and our god forever amen have mercy on me o god according to your merciful love according, according to your abundant, abundant mercy, mercy blot out my transgression wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done that which is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Before you discern truth in and void me, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with this soap and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. To make me hear joy and gladness, let the bonds which you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from the wrath of God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. praise. For you take no delight in sacrifice, were I to give a burnt offering. You will not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God. You will, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. 
Then you will delight in right sacrifices, in burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings, and bulls will be offered on your altar. Praises you to O God, far and more. Blessed are you, Church and Spouse of Messiah, for your doom shall see no destruction, Jesus, have mercy on us.
which comes forth like a bridegroom, leaving his chamber, and like a strong man, runs his course of joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart, the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The ordinance of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey, and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, I thy misery is spread more keeping them near his, near his great reward. But who can discern his heirs? Clear me from hidden faults. Keep, Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer, Praises to your God, but more. song. Sing to the Lord a new song. It's praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. The islands and their inhabitants. Let the desert and its cities lift up their voice. The villages that came out in habits. Let the inhabitants of Selah sing for joy. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let them give glory to the Lord and declare his praise in the islands. The Lord goes forth like a mighty man, like a man of war. He stirs up his fury. He cries out. He shouts aloud. He shows himself mighty against his foes. Shout, O heavens from above. Let the skies rain down righteousness. Let the earth open, that salvation may sprout forth, and let it cause righteousness to spring up also. I, the Lord, have created it. Praise is due to our God, God and King Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise those servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high? Who looks far down upon the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor from the dust, and lifts the needy from the ash heap. To make them sit with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives a bare woman a home. In a home Making her the joyous mother of children, praise the Lord. Praise is due to our God, Barak Yimor. Blessed are the 
poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and throw all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For so, so men persecuted the prophets who were before you. Barakimor. Mary, who brought you forth, and Saint John, who baptized you, let them
For you the Holy Eucharistic celebrations, prayers, and all the good works performed today in the churches throughout the world. We also offer your petitions, joys, and sorrows, and all our endeavors. Guide us today along your path. May your power and grace sustain us today. Grant that all our thoughts, words, and actions bring honor to you. O Lord, keep us away from the delusions of the evil one and from temptations to sin. O merciful God, abide in front and behind us, to our right and to our left above us and below us, within us and around us. Be our protection and sanctify us. May the prayers and the blessings of the Mother of God and all the saints be with us now and forever. Amen. O oh, blessed, blessed Trinity, Trinity assist, assist us with your eternal grace and power. O oh, gracious Lord, may your salvation be with us always. Through King David, the Holy Spirit sang shouts of joy and salvation in the tents of the A read into the book of Genesis, Baruch Mor. Then he gave them discharge. Since I'm about to be gathered to my people, bury me with my ancestors in the cave that lies in the field of Ephron and Hiti, the cave in the field of Machpelah, facing on Mary, the land of Canaan, that field that Abraham brought from Ephron, the 
to Haiti for burial ground. There Abraham and his wife, Sarah, are buried. And so Isaac and his wife, Rechabah, and there too, I bury Leah, the field and cave in that they had been purchased from the Hades. When Jacob had finished giving these instructions to his sons, he drew his feet into the bed, breathed in his lap, and gathered to his people. Barkmore. A reading from the book of Isaiah, Barakamar. The son of Hezekiah, the king of Judea, Judah, after he had been sick and had recovered from illness. In the new time of life, I said, I must depart. To the gates of Sheol, I have been consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living, nor look at any mortals among those who dwell in this world. My dwelling, like a sh shepherd's tent, is shut down and borne away from me, who have folded up my life like a weaver who serves from me from the last tread. From morning to night, you make an end of me. I cry out even uh, until the dawn. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. From a morning to night, you make like the end of me. Like a swallow, I chirp. I mourn like a dove. My eyes grow weary, looking heaveward. Lord, I'm overwhelmed. Go security for me. What am I to say or tell him? He is one, of, he is one who has done it. All of my sleep has failed. Because of the bitterness of my soul, those live whom the Lord protects. Yours is the life of my spirit. You have given my health and restored my life. Peace is in place of betterness. You have preserved my life and from the pit of my destruction. Behind your back, you cast away all my sins. For it is not Sheol that gives you things, nor death and that praises you. Neither do those who go down to the pit among all the kind of weight your kindness awaits. The living the living who gives you things as I do today. Parents declare to the children, O oh God, your faithfulness. The Lord is there to save us. We shall play music in the house of the Lord in all days of our life. Barkmore. Today we celebrate Aini Day Sunday, the, we remember all the departed souls. So let us pray for all the departed souls from our family and from um, among our friends. Namade Kurumbatil Nam, Namade Bendamitradil Nam, Kadanavaya, Sakatri Kavangi Poya, Yella, Atmakal Kuendi, Namaka Pratech, Ekurbanil Pratika. Let us also remember those who are celebrating birthdays this week. On the 20th, Blessed Alexander, 21st, Minoy Varghese, 
22nd, Remini Daniel, 23rd, Peter Jamo and Weilil, 26th, Christopher Silas and JJ Pamutal. Shubhu la bola broval ruho kadisho. May mercy and compassion be shown to us, weak and sinful servants, in both worlds forever. Amen. Pray for me, beloved brethren, that I may be made worthy to offer this holy sacrifice for the whole church. May, may the, the Lord, Lord be pleased with your prayers and, and sacrifice. And having accepted your offerings, grant us communion with you.
shall be in disasters on our behalf have mercy on us o lord i will praise you my lord and king holy god son the word of the heavenly father who is the lord god in nature christ o oh god you deign to come down for the life and salvation of mankind every incarnate blessed of earth and the pure mother of god we got changed to be in heaven and you were crucified for us and by your death you trampled on our god and destroyed him you are one of the most holy trinity and the worship and glorify the holy with the father and the holy spirit Have mercy on us, O Lord. God is our Alohu. God is our Alohu. the second letter of peter barkemore praise the lord of the apostles and let his mercy be upon us forever <clears throat> but do not ignore this one fact beloved that with the lord one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like one day the lord does not delay in his promise as some regard delay but he is patient with you not wishing that any one should perish but that all should come to repentance but the day of the lord will come like a thief and then the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar and the elements will be dissolved by fire and the earth and everything done on it will be found out since everything is to be dissolved in this way what sort of persons ought you be conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion waiting for and hastening 
the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Barikamor. Preaching of Thessalonians, body came on. Praise the Lord of the Apostles, and let his mercy be upon us forever. But we would not have you ignorant, brethren, concerning those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Barakimor. and devotion, let us listen to the living word of God, which is being read before us, the holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord make us worthy of it. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. The holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, a life-giving message from the apostle John, who preaches life and salvation to the world. Blessed is you who has come, and is to come. Glory to the one who has sent him, and let his blessings be upon us forever. In the time of the dispensation of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the living Word of God, who took flesh of the Holy Virgin Mary, these things came to pass. We believe that we trust Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, a son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees his father doing. For what he does, his son will do also. 
For the father loves his son and shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to his son, so that all may honor the son just as they honor the father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to his Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. Peace be with you. My soul entreats for my sake. the uniqueness of the Sunday that we celebrated last week? Not MCCL, that is part of it. Departed? Priest, okay. We uh, remembered, we commemorated the departed priest, right? What is the Sunday called in Syriac? Kohene Sunday. Koheno means priest. Kohene is the plural. It's the Sunday of the priest. What's today, what's the, what's the uniqueness of this Sunday? Who are we remembering? Departed souls. And it's called Anide, okay? The departed souls. Raise your hand if you are not afraid to die. Raise your hand if you are not afraid to die. Maranate bhaim illaath varna kai Satya Krishna nigal anandha paranyal poera. The true Christians do not fear death. What is death? What is death? We have a lot of medical professionals here, so what is death? Ah, okay. They, the, the theological answer is given. When the soul separates from the body, the person is dead. When the soul is separated from the body, 
death happens. And anyone who is in nursing and anyone who is in the, in the field of medicine know that there are different ways to check if the person is actually dead. We look for the uh, cessation of brain functioning. If the heartbeat has stopped, if there is a breath, we look at all of this to see if the death has occurred. But those are all the description of death. What actually happens in death is the, so, uh, is the separation of the soul from the body. Okay, so we know what death is, but what happens after death? What happens after death? Who knows? Enter into eternal life. Okay, but there's a little bit more specificity. Okay, what happens after death? Gio, you had your hand up. You get judged. Okay, good. Uri vidhi undu, allay? Yatra vidhi undu. Marichi kajinyal yatra vidhi undu uri manishin. How many judgments are there for a person uh, after he is dead or she is dead? Two. Okay. How many of you knew that? How many of you knew there were, there were uh, two judgments after death? Very good. Right after death, the soul stands in front of God and he or she is judged. At that time, there are three options. What are the three options where the, the soul will go to? First one is heaven. Second is purgatory. Third is hell. Okay. So the soul is separated from the body. The soul stands in front of God and is judged. Three options, heaven, purgatory, hell. What is the second judgment? Yes, Kartha Vimbol. At the time of the second coming is the general judgment. Particular judgment is you and God face to face. General judgment is in the presence of everybody. And at that time, there's only two options. First one is heaven. Second is hell. Two judgments. And in the second judgment, the body is incorporated with the soul. When the soul and the body comes together, a person uh, begins. That's the definition of a person, body and soul together. That's why when a person is dead, we don't call it a person, we call it a body, right? So in the second judgment, it's not just the soul, but it's the soul and the body together. Now, what is heaven? What is heaven? Is it a location? Is it a physical place? Raise your hand if you say it is a physical place or a location. Good. It's not a physical place or a location. Sorgam in the parayanadu or avasthayan. It is a state of being. In the state of being. It is a state of being with God, in the presence of God. So if that is heaven, if heaven is the state of being with God, what is hell? State of being away from God. It's not just a state of being away from God, it's a state of being away from God for eternity. Hell is the state of being away from any type of goodness because all goodness is associated with God. So hell is being away from any state of goodness, any element, any uh, fraction of goodness. To give you an example, imagine that Okay, we have a lot of students here. Imagine that you are in a classroom, okay? You are taking a test. All of a sudden, somebody accuses you of cheating. Somebody accuses you of cheating. And then the whole class turns against you. Because the teacher says, since you have cheated, the whole class will be punished. Imagine how the class will look at you. How would you feel? How would you feel? 
tell me, how, do, how would you feel when the class, the whole class looks at you for cheating? Terrible, terrible. okay, you feel terrible? How else do you feel? Guilty. You feel guilty? How else do you feel? Embarrassed? Embarrassed? Lonely? Sad? You feel all of that. Imagine feeling that to the times of infinite power for eternity. That is hell. Feeling lonely, guilty, ashamed, terrible, sad, guilty, all of that. Feeling that for eternity, forever. That is hell. Heaven is the exact opposite. It is being with God. It is being happy, being joyful, being in the state of bliss. That is heaven. And what is purgatory? So that we have heaven, we have hell. What is purgatory then? Go ahead. In the middle. In the middle. So what's in the middle? Dana? What is purgatory? What's the purpose of purgatory? Shuddhikarana, it's purification. Right? If you have uh, any mortal sin, where do you go? If you have any unconfessed, uncontrived mortal sin, where do you go? Where do you go? Where do you go? You go to hell. Because you are intentionally moving away from God. But, if you have any venial sins that you may have not confessed, or if you have effects of sin that keeps you from being with God, that's the state of purgatory. It's a state of purification. But there's a guarantee to purgatory. If you are in purgatory, you will end up in heaven at some point. Especially when Jesus comes, you will end up in heaven if you land in purgatory. So aim for heaven, so at least you will land in purgatory. Okay, aim for heaven, so at least you will land in purgatory. Purgatory has been defined as a cleansing fire. It's like, imagine that there is somebody that you really love. You want to be with them. You want to spend all your time with them. You want to talk to them. You want to hug them. You just want to be with them. But you are separated with a glass. You can see every, everything that he is doing. You can see that he or she wants you to be with them. But we are separated with this glass. Imagine the yearning that you feel to be with the other person. That times infinite is purgatory. It's the yearning to be with love itself, but not being able to do so because of the effects of our own actions. And that yearning is like a fire that purifies us. And that's why we pray for the departed because in the purgatory only the prayers of those who are living can help them. The souls in the purgatory cannot pray for themselves. We have to pray for them. And when they get to heaven then they will pray for us. So it's a give and take. We have to pray for the souls in the purgatory. Not just the souls that you know but all the souls in the purgatory. Okay? Now, next question. Does God send people to heaven and hell? Kartava Ningle Sorgatiloto Naragatiloto Vidunundo. No. Where does God want you to be? Where does God want every one of us to be? All the humanity to be? In heaven with him. He created us, He want us and all the world to be with Him. But what happens? Why do some people go to hell then? Because they have chosen against God. When we intentionally choose things that are against God, when we intentionally do things that are against God, we are sending ourselves 
to hell. We are sending ourselves away from God. Eternity is a continuation of this life. Nithya jeevitham innu parayinadu namada ippoyadatthe ee jeevitathinde oiru poorthi yarnu maanu. What we do here, that affects eternity. So choose for God. Many of you are afraid to die, don't be. Welcome death when it comes. You don't have to go and uh, look for it. Welcome death when it comes. Because at the other end of that veil is eternity. Whether it is an eternity with God or away from God. Whether it is the eternity of heaven or hell. It's up to you and up to me. Amen. Arkimor stomen kalos kurie naiso let us pray and beg for mercy and compassion from the lord merciful lord have mercy upon us and help us make us worthy o lord god to offer praise thanksgiving Glory, honor, and exaltation without ceasing, and at all times forever. Praise to the Lord who in the fullness of time was incarnate of Mary, and was revealed in the manger at Bethlehem, of whom the Father bore witness at the river Jordan, and who is the bread of life of whom John foretold. He was crucified on Golgotha for our salvation, and he descended into Sheol to raise us from our fallen state. and remove the rule of death he handed over to us the salvific mystery and gave us this bountiful spiritual banquet to which all people are invited to him our due glory honor and adoration at this time of the celebration of the divine eucharist and at all feast seasons hours times and all the days of our life forever bikulahun yawmo sudhaya illa walmi Amen. Barakimor before the merciful Lord and before this atoning altar and before these divine and heavenly mysteries incense is being set let us pray and beg for mercy and compassion from the Lord Merciful Lord have mercy upon us and help us Merciful Lord who forgive our sins and pardon our offenses Wipe away my great and innumerable sins and those of your faithful people. O oh Lord God, have pity and be merciful to us. Lord, in your mercy, remember our souls and the souls of our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, our elders and teachers, our departed and all the faithful departed, the children of the holy and glorious church. Give us to their souls, spirits and bodies and shed the dew of your mercy and compassion on them. Be to us and to them absolution and absolver of sins. O Christ our King, our Lord, the Lord of glory. Answer us, O Lord, and come to our aid and save us. In your mercy receive our prayers and keep us free from all harm. Deliver us, Lord, from all chastisements in your loving kindness. O Lord, remove from us the dread scourge of your wrath. Make us worthy of the end that befits a Christian and is pleasing and proper to your divinity. We will offer you praise and thanksgiving now and always and forever. Amen. O Christ our God, the true high priest, the atoning offering and altar of sacrifice you are peace the father who was angry at your wrong doing by yourself offering on golgotha and united those in heaven and those on earth by your own blood as i stand before you at this still great and fearful moment have pity and mercy upon me o lord remove not your holy spirit from your flock on account of my wicked deeds and withhold not your mercy from the flock which you purchased with your atoning blood 
on account of the blemish of my actions for you have made me worthy to enter your holy sanctuary where even the angels only desire to look by your grace and in your abundant mercy remit the offenses of your people and forgive the sins of your flock O Lord accept the sacrifice which I offer you with sinful hands O my Lord by this kurbano grant salvation to sinners forgiveness to wrongdoers and welcome the repentant by this kurbano pardon the guilty pacify the angry and unite the divided by this kurbano put an end to offenses and remove punishments By this kurbano sanctify the unholy people and grant chastity to those who are not yet mature By this kurbano enlighten the priest adorn the deacons grant understanding to the readers strengthen the monks and preserve the celibate O Lord by this kurbano confirm the children of the church in faith and establish the monasteries Preserve those consecrated to you in virginity and bless the married. By this kurbano grant return to those who are far and protection to those who are near. By this kurbano grant forgiveness of sins to the living and rest to the faithful departed. O Lord, we and they will offer unceasing praise and thanksgiving to you and to your Father and your Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord accept your service and help us through your prayers. May we receive from God pardon of offenses and forgiveness of sins in both worlds forever. Amen. I, weak and sinful servant, confess and say, Holy is the Holy Father. of the sinful servant and extends mercy to our souls and the souls of our fathers and mothers our brothers and sisters our elders and teachers our departed and all the faithful departed the children of the holy church in both worlds forever amen barikimo divine wisdom is proclaimed Let us stand respectfully and respond. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, before all ages, light from light, true God from true God. God is not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, He was born of the Virgin Mary, and became incarnate, for our sin, He was crucified, under Pontius Pilate, He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day He rose again, according to His holy will, and ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in great glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life to all, who proceeds from the Father, and who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets and apostles. We believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. 
Eternal God, you are peace, tranquility, love, and the fount of mercy. Grant peace to your church and protect the world by your grace. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you, and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. Let us give the holy and divine kiss of peace to each other in the love of our Lord and our God. O Lord God, make us worthy of this peace throughout our lives. Let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. We bow our heads before you, our Lord and our God. O Lord, let your right hand full of blessings rest upon your servants and your worshippers who bow their heads before you. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. O Lord, strengthen us that we may offer you the spiritual and bloodless sacrifice on account of the sins and iniquities of your flock. By the sacrifice, holy, forgive our transgressions and offenses, we will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Barakimor, brethren, let us all meditate on this awe-inspiring holy Corbono with true faith, piety, love, and reverence for this living and divine sacrifice which is being offered on behalf of us to God the Father, the Lord of all things, is for our peace and tranquility. This Corbona is blessing, peace, sacrifice, and thanksgiving. The love of God the Father, the grace of the only begotten Son, and the communion and abiding presence of the Holy Spirit be with you all, my brethren, forever. Amen. And with your spirit, let our minds and thoughts and hearts be raised on high to Christ our God, who sits at the right hand of God the Father. Our minds, thoughts, and hearts are with the Lord our God. In fear and reverence, let us give thanks to the Lord. It is just and right to give thanks to the Lord. In fear and reverence, let us glorify him whom the angels, archangels, cherubim, seraphim, thrones and dominions, and all the invisible and innumerable heavenly orders, choirs and hosts, unceasingly praise with indescribable words and unceasing songs of victory, proclaiming and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who came and is to come in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Your only begotten Son was incarnate out of love for us. And for the sake of our salvation, he willingly emptied himself and suffered in the flesh. On the night of his passion, he took bread in his holy hand and gave thanks to you, O Heavenly Father. He blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy apostle, saying, Take and eat of it. This is my body, broken for you and for many, for the remission of sins and life eternal. Amen. 
In the same way he took the chalice mixed with wine and water and gave thanks to you, O Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. He blessed, sanctified, and gave to his holy apostles, saying, Take and drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins and life eternal. Amen. Our Lord commanded his apostles, saying, Whenever you celebrate these holy mysteries, commemorate my death and resurrection until I come. Lord, your death we exalt, and your resurrection we proclaim. Your second coming we look commemorate your works of salvation and your fearful and glorious second coming. On account of this we stand with fear and trembling. We petition and beseech you and through you your Father saying The Christian of God the, the Father Almighty O Lord we your weak and sinful servants the recipients of your grace Offer you praise and thanksgiving for your loving mercy to and for all things, now and always and forever. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, and we thank you. O Lord God, have pity and mercy upon us. Barakimor, my beloved, how holy and sacred is this moment when the living Holy Spirit descends from the heavenly heights and hovers upon and sanctifies this divine Kurvono, let us pray in fear and reverence. May peace and tranquility be with us all. Answer me, O Lord. Answer me, O Lord. Answer me and have mercy and compassion on us, O Lord. Pray, pray, May the Holy Spirit come upon this bread and make it the body of Christ our God. Amen. And may the Holy Spirit perfect the mystery in this chalice and make it the blood of Christ our God. Amen. O Lord, by the reception of your holy body and blood, may we all become inheritors of your heavenly kingdom and be made worthy to rejoice in the new life with the saints. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Again we pray for all the fathers who rule the churches of God in the four quarters of the world, especially those who shepherd us, the head of the universal church, the holy father Pope Francis, the head and father of our church, Moran Mor Basilios Klimis Catholicos, and our bishop, Abun Mar Stephanos. And with them, let us pray for all the bishops of the true faith, and all priests, deacons, and ascetics, and for the entire Christian church, let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, enlighten your shepherds with the light of your divine teachings and grant us prosperous and peaceful lives. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. 
Again, we pray for our faithful and true Christian brethren, especially those now facing trials and tribulations. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, be mindful and care for the weary, the persecuted, the afflicted, the distressed, the poor, those in need, the strangers, the downtrodden, the captives, the destitute, the orphans and the widows. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Barakimar, again, let us pray for our rulers and leaders that they may lead us in truth and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. your grace that we may lead a comfortable and pleasant life before you and that we may be treated mercifully by those who rule over us. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. more again let us remember the holy, glorious, blessed, and ever-Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, and with her, let us remember our Father, the Apostle Thomas, the prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, and confessors. May their intercession be a stronghold to us. Let us pray to the Lord. the petition and intercession of those who pleased you by their righteousness. Make us worthy of the portion and lot that are with them. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. more again let us remember the Holy Fathers and revered doctors who kept the one true apostolic faith undefiled and handed it over to us. May their prayer be a stronghold to us. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, confirm us on the rock of the true faith, confirmed by the holy and ecumenical councils. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever. Amen. again let us remember all those who departed from us in true faith and love. Let us beseech the Lord that he might grant them the pardon of offenses and forgiveness of sins, and that he might lead us in them into the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord and say three times, Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. O Lord, do not allow our departed to be subdued by the powers of darkness. Deliver them from the bondages of evil spirits and from all torture and misery. Let the light of your only begotten Son shine upon us and the departed. Through him we hope to receive for us and for them forgiveness of sins, and obtain mercy. O Lord, console and justify all the faithful departed in true faith. Forgive all the offenses committed by them, and by us before you, willingly or unwillingly, knowingly or unknowingly. O Lord, in the abundance of your mercy, give answer to our prayers. Deliver us and our faithful departed from the judgment to come and the torture reserved for the wicked. May your blessed name be praised and glorified together with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and that of your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. As it was and is, and shall remain from generation to generation, to all ages, forever and ever. Peace be with you. And with your spirit.
the mercy of the great god our savior jesus christ be with you all my brethren forever this divine gift through which we glorify you O father and adore the holy spirit with clarity of mind purity of thought simplicity of tongue cleanliness of body and confidence in soul we pray together in loud voice that prayer which your only begotten son told us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. worthy to be called your children deliver us from hard temptations save us from the evil one and from all his powers and from the malice of wicked men we will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten son and your holy spirit now and always and forever amen more before we receive the holy mysteries which have been offered let us bow our heads before the merciful lord we, we bow, bow our heads before you our lord and our, our god. god O great and almighty king under the scepter of your sovereignty all creation bends down send your blessing upon your holy church who stands before you with head bowed We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten son and your holy spirit now and always and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. May the grace and mercy of the holy and glorious Trinity 
uncreated, self-existent, eternal, worshipful and consubstantial, be with you all, my brethren, forever. Amen. Parikimur, let us stand in awe and reverence. Lord, have pity and mercy on us. Holy mysteries to the holy people. There is none holy but the one holy Father, the one holy Son, and the one holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the living Holy Spirit, one God forever. Amen. Let the one holy Father created the universe in his mercy be with us. Amen. Let the one holy son who redeemed it by his precious passion be with us. Amen. Let the one living Holy Spirit, the perfect of all that has been and that will be, be with us. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. That we become God's children. Those who taught us during life we shall recall.
like cedars of Lebanon, they shall grow. We shall sprout up in that land stage and grow. and renewal of our race. May pardon come upon your servants from your atoning altar forever. Amen. Stretch forth, Lord God, your invisible right hand and bless this assembly of your worshippers who partake of your holy mysteries for the pardon of offenses and forgiveness of sins. And confidence in your presence, our Lord and our God, forever. Amen. May the mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be on those who carry, give, and receive these holy mysteries. May the mercy of the Holy Trinity be on those who have labored and have heart part in them in both worlds forever. true believers for the pardon of offenses and forgiveness of sins and confidence in his presence in both worlds forever. Amen. The eternal life of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ is given to the true believers for the pardon of offenses and forgiveness of sins in both worlds forever.
Jesus Christ, let your holy body which we have eaten and your atoning blood which we have drunk be not for our judgment and condemnation, but for the life and salvation of our souls. O Lord, have mercy on us, so. to be worthy of this divine gift of your holy body and precious blood. We will offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Let us bow our heads before the merciful Lord. We bow our heads before you, our Lord and our God. Our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, of your own will and that of your Father and of your Holy Spirit, you were sacrificed for us and gave us your holy body to eat and your atoning blood to drink. Confirm us in your love. Fill us with reverence for you. Establish in us your faith. Adorn us with blameless conduct. And forgive our sins and those of our departed. So that we may continually glorify you and God the Father who begat you. And your Holy Spirit. Now and always and forever. Amen. Thank you soul impurity by your holy soul. Remember not, Lord, our offenses and trespasses. For all those who left the grievous Life on the earth, grant them daylight 
in the lasting dazzling dwelling and mercy of the holy and glorious trinity with the provisions and blessings which you have received from the holy altar of the lord amen you who are far and near living and departed redeemed by the victorious cross of the lord and sealed with the sign of the holy baptism may this holy trinity pardon your offenses and forgive your faults and grant rest to the souls of your departed amen may i his weak and sinful servant obtain mercy and help by your prayers Go in peace, be glad, rejoice, and pray for me. Amen. May the Lord accept your sacrifice and help us by your prayers. Prayer for the canonization of the servant of God, Archbishop Maravanos. O triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we adore you, we praise you, and we glorify you. God the Father, in your infinite mercy and love, you fashioned the apostolic Malankar Syrian Catholic Church in the fullness of time. You appointed our venerable Archbishop Maravanos to nurture, lead, and build her up. You have made this virtuous father an instrument for the Malankara Catholic Church to experience peace, tranquility, and splendor of truth. In your loving providence, you make this church grow day by day in number and fervor. Our Lord, let the warmth of the love of our beloved father, Maravanos, let the fragrance of his virtues and his quest for communion with you and your church be a source of inspiration for all among you. May the Malankar Assyrian Catholic Church, in communion with the Universal Church, be blessed with the fervor of intercession of yet another saint. We pray to you humbly, O Lord, raise your servant, Maravanos, a saint in your holy church. May your all-glorious and blessed name be praised and glorified with that of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever. Amen. Lord of all my debts, O Lord, by your hands of mercy, and cleanse me from all my sins, making only to your grace. O Savior, by celebrating your
വരേതരായ എല്ലാ ആത്മാക്കളുടെയും ആത്മശാന്തിക്കായിട്ടുള്ള ധൂപ്രാർത്ഥനയ്ക്കായി നമുക്ക് ഇപ്പോൾ എഴുന്നേറ്റ് നിൽക്കാം മക്കളിലപ്പൻ കൃപ ചെയ്തുപോലെ ഹാലേലൂയ ഭക്തന്മാരിൽ ദൈവം കൃപ ചെയ്യും ഇത് വയലിൽ പൂച്ചെടി പോലെ വാരയ്ക്കുമോ ശിവഹോലോല പ്രോവൽ റൂഹോ കാതീശു നാമെല്ലാവരും പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ച കർത്താവിനോട് അനുഗ്രഹവും കരുണയും യാചിക്കണം സ്തുതിയും സ്തോത്രവും മഹിമയും പുകഴ്ചയും മനസ്സിരകീർത്തിയും എല്ലാ നേരത്തും ഇവിടാതെ അർപ്പിക്കുവാൻ ഞങ്ങൾ യോഗ്യരായി തീരണമേ പ്രൈസ് ടു ഹിം ഹു ബാഹ്യസ് ഡിസ്ട്രോയിഡ് അവർ ഡെത്ത് ആൻഡ് ബാഹ്യ സാക്രിഫൈസ് ഫോർ അസ് അറ്റോൺ ഫോർ ഓൾ ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഓഫ് ആഡം വി റൂംബർ ആൻഡ് പ്രൈസ് ദ ഗുഡ് വൺ അറ്റ് ദിസ് ടൈം ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ഫീ സീസൺസ് അവേഴ്സ് ടൈംസ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ദ ഡേസ് ഓഫ് അവർ ലൈഫ് ഫോർ എവർ you who raised the dead and raised them from their graves receive lord the souls of your servants for the for whom we have offered this kurbano today make them dwell in the blessed mansions of your father's house and with all true believers who did your will and slept in your home raise them up and make them stand at your right hand and pour forth your blessings upon us so that we may offer praise and thanksgiving to you and your father and your holy spirit now and always and forever amen devathil ninnu kadangalukku pariharavum paapangalukku mojanavum rendu logangalilum ennekkum naam praabikkumaaragatte amen viregunnu raja uyerathil ninne ൂഹിയിൽ <laughs> ും 
those who are celebrating birthdays this week, please stand up. On February 20th, Blessed Alexander, 21st, Minoy Varghese, 22nd, Remini Daniel, 23rd, Peter J. Moen Weilel, 26th, Christopher Silas and J.J. Plamotel. Please stand up. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have graced us with many blessings, many talents, abilities, and gifts. Lord, we especially thank for all that you have blessed your children with, especially those children who are celebrating their birthdays this week. Lord, grant them long life, be with them. Grant your grace so that they may be good parents, good children, and especially good Christians. May the fruits and the gifts of the Holy Spirit be showered upon them, their family and their loved ones, and may they experience your joy and spread the fragrance of your love to everyone around them, so that at the end of this life, when they enter, enter into eternal life, they may be welcomed by you in your embrace. We ask all of this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A couple of announcements. Next week, uh, after Mass, we will have the general body meeting for last year, where the finances and the report will be read. Last week, we had the MCC, a parkial MCCL day celebration. I would like to thank all the teachers, parents, and students who were present at that meeting. Uh, a special thanks to Serena and Anne uh, Nakuti for singing the prayer song and thus representing our parish. As I've been saying for the last few weeks, Catholicos Day collection still has not reached the uh, level that we wanted it to be, so please contribute for the Catholicos Day collection as soon as possible. To, uh, today, uh, after Mass, we will have two uh, meetings. One will be for the potential candidates for the choir. So any catechism children who would like to be part of the English choir, please let Lijo Chattan know, and there will be practice today. And all the altar servers will have a meeting right after Mass, so please stay uh, in those pews over there after the Kaimutta. On February 29th will be the 90th birthday of Father P.T. Thomas. Many of the uh, older people in this parish know P uh, Father P.T. Thomas. Uh, Achende Tonurama the birthday, E. February, Idwati Umbadan the Angoshikiana, Paul Namade Richari Ubahara Maita, or a greeting card, it is a gift to Namukodakunda, Paul greeting card, Sibichatan, Poracherunda, Poragil Vichatunda, thereby other Ningal sign Chega, Namade Ru, Cheria, where you snake Hobahara Maita, Namula, other Kodakunda the Idiki. Ningalde address or contact number of Marie Tundangil, they why number secretary, Sibijatane, a train button, Arikiga Aditha Archa updated mailing list, printed either Ikan the Arikim, other one day a train button. If there's any uh, changes to your address or your phone number, please let Sibijatan know. We began this year's and this parish's MCCL today. Uh, I would like to announce the board members for MCCL. Please stand up as I call your name. The president of our MCCL is Joel Plamotel. Please stand. The secretary is Alan Daniel. Treasurer is Luke Abraham. Vice president is Anthony Plamotel. And joint secretary is Matthew Abraham. Please stand. Come forward. So these are our MCCL representatives. Let us take our uh, uh, MCCL board members. At this time, let us say a special prayer for these board members. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the children that you have given us. Lord, help them to walk in your light and on your path. May they become role models to everyone around them. May they succeed in everything that they do, and may they become an example to the world around them. Lord, help them to go through tribulations holding your hand and relying on you, and grant them your help and your grace throughout their life. We ask all of this 
And especially as we pray for these board members, we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, let's take a photo. Mask off. For those of us who are not familiar with MCCL, MCCL is the practical aspect of the catechism class. Namade catechism class galil namal vishwasate pati padikinu. Adi yengene pravarti ka maakaram yenna padipikinu oru vedi yana MCCL. Okay, so these are complementary things. They go together. So um, I encourage the parents to help out uh, when we have MCCL activities. And the coordinator, we will have two coordinators for the MCCL. We will have our Sunday school principal, Pinji Chetan, and also Suja Stanley as the coordinators for our parish MCCL. And along with that, uh, I would like to announce one small change. First is that our catechism will start. At what time did catechism start? 9.30, okay. Next week onwards, we will start at 9.25 a.m., okay. Anjuminde maatunnadu nengke anjuminde thamasthi varan alla. Devai, ompa diriyodhini thanne, ella parentsum nengalde kuttikali evada kondu varanam. Okay, I said this last week too. You only get one hour of faith education the whole week. Everything that they face outside this church is against faith. So if you would like your children to remain in faith, to grow in faith, then bring them at least to the catechism classes on time. Show them a good example. And next week, uh, grades 9 to 12 will have a combined session with me. At that time, uh, where's Glory Chichi? Raise your hand. Okay. So you, will you be having the uh, young family support group meeting? Okay. So we'll, we'll uh, um, postpone that. So during that time, please be pre the parents of those kids, please be present in the church and pray the rosary, okay? Uh, especially the grades eight, uh, 9 to 12, uh, parents of the grades 9 to 12 students. Okay, so at this time, I would like to invite Vinny Chetan for his uh, testimony. Hi everyone, uh, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. Uh, thank you, Atta, for giving me the chance to give a sharing about my life testimony. Uh, I have a few minutes, I'll try to make it short. Uh, today was a beautiful providential day. It's the feast of the faithful, I mean, the prayer of the faithful departed. So uh, to all you who have been faithful people with me, I want to tell you a story of my departing <laughs> and my new life. So. Um, our liturgy today was very colored with a lot of meditations on it. One in the morning prayers, I now crave for fountains of tears and a contrite heart, and I weep most bitterly as I recall my past life. Of the years that I squandered in deeds useless and futile, for my deeds indeed weaken me. I was uh, uh, born and brought up here, the first one in my family to be born in the United States, and so uh, our church was always like a, a place of communion and community for me. But we also grew up in a generation where there wasn't too much uh, people to lead us or guide us in growing up in America. And so with all social and cultural and all such pressures, I remember growing up. I can remember even moments of, uh, from my time of being like five years old onwards, experiences of having a divided heart. Our parents teaching us the right things, siblings teaching us to live in the right way. But sin developing in my life, even from the age of five, I can remember. 
all of this even up till our church was beginning, our community up till going to college. Uh, I still remember maturing in this way with a divided heart, and I remember going to college. And it was in my college years that I started experiencing the disintegration of that. I remember uh, I would try to have a prayer, the same exact family prayer that my dad and mom faithfully carried in our house every single day. I would kneel at my bedside in my dorm room with the Bible that John Mathai uncle gave me that I still have 20 years uh, to these times. And uh, with all the graces that were given to me, I tried to live a prayerful life. But even then, I, my roommate was a Catholic, and he didn't really uh, pray much. So it was a little awkward for me to pray while he wasn't praying. And I think these kind of things also started planting seeds uh, of me questioning and doubting things of what I believe and my religious uh, piety and my practices and things. And uh, through that, and uh, along with uh, growing up with my friends, I had a lot of friends who were also didn't believe in everything we believe in Catholicism and uh, simple questions they would ask just to genuinely want to know about my faith. I, did, I realized I didn't have substantive answers to it and it made me start questioning and wondering what I actually believe. And I started seeing my prayer life starting to slip. I started seeing me questioning my friendships, my relationships, even uh, to the point of my school started, my grades started slipping in engineering school. I remember there was a point in my life when I also went to, I was almost on academic probation, means I wouldn't be able to con continue in my engineering program. It was at that time that I feel like I met the Lord. My friends, I had friends who were also growing in faith who would take me to uh, campus ministry events and things like that. I would listen to the gospel being proclaimed uh, and about this need to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. And uh, it was at that point where I, I, I think I already knew so much about Jesus being going to Catholic school and being in a Catholic faith-filled community, but having this relationship with the living Jesus Christ was something new to me. How do you hear his voice? What does it sound like? What does he say to you? How do these things happen? I, I started questioning and wondering these things. And I remember uh, is when my grades were low. I was just feeling really low in my life, very sad in my life. And one day I remember calling home to tell my parents, you know, like, I just want to come home. I, I don't think my parents were understanding. They were like, a, your school is, a, you're not doing so well in school. Why don't you just stay and spend the weekend and just study there? And they didn't mean anything by that. But I took it, a, like, even in that moment, that weekend ended up being a weekend of reflection to me. Who am I? What am I? What do I believe? What is the most important things in my life? I remember a song was playing, uh, Jesus' uh, Love Song for a Savior by Jars of Clay. I had this music sitting in my room. Uh, I was alone in my college room, and I remember uh, thinking about my whole life and what got me to this point of emptiness in my life. And I remember making a prayer in my heart, Lord, if you are real, I need you more in my life than I ever needed you any other moment in my life. Please come into my life. And I remember full of tears, I think later on I realized St. Ambrose and the Catechism teaches us that every Christian needs to go through two baptisms. The baptism of water that they experience in baptism, but a baptism of tears, which is a washing over the sins of your heart. I, all these tears, what is the uselessness of it? The, uh, has, like when we were praying this today, my soul entreats, for my sake you make offerings. What do we gain by grief and weeping? Our Lord's body alone shall aid me, that I may reach our Messiah and be accepted. Pray for me, O priests. I remember feeling that. There was nothing more I can do. I can just not live this division in my life, but I should live like a wholehearted life. I, I, when, you, when you reach this empty bottom place in your heart, you can only go up from there. And I remember crying, my pillow was completely wet. I remember turning it over, going to sleep. The next day, nothing drastically changed. But I used to always feel like there's this umbrella not letting me enjoy the sunlight of life in my life. And uh, slowly, some hope was coming into me and I started uh, making decisions in my life. I would start thinking the way that Jesus would want me to think. I started reading the Gospel of John wanting to know Jesus as a person in my life, as my best friend in my life. I started, every statement he said that was true, just like I would challenge Tom or Minoy or any of my other friends at that time, I would say, um, is, is this true, Jesus? Can I prove you wrong in any way? And then all the things that he would say, I would never be able to prove him wrong. When you face so much truth like that, it makes you start wondering, 
What about all the lies that I've lived in my life? And just like an engineer doing a math problem back or wrong when you erase and go back and go back and go back, I could discover even mistakes that I made that I just swept under the rug till the, since the age of five in my life. And as a good Catholic, I just wrote this all down and I went to the confession to the Achan at the cathedral there and I remember telling him, Father, do you have time for a confession? This is going to take a long time. And I gave a long confession. I remember experiencing this weight of burden being lifted from my shoulders. And from then, I could experience a new life without me. Uh, the king who gives life descends from heaven above and imparts life to all who are departed. And each person from the grave that they themselves dug rises to a new life to give praise to the one who gives life. I remember coming here, I'd sit in the back in the corner there with Jason. Jason and I used to sit during mass and I would hear, it didn't matter if it was in Malayalam, it didn't matter if it was in English, when I would hear the gospel being proclaimed, it felt like my heart is on fire, beating on fire. And then when I started, I was a young, passionate person with all my ignorance and all my, my pride, speaking up in the Pudiyogams and stuff. I remember Lijo coming to me one day and saying, Bin, I also feel things like this. And I found an early brother in faith from that time till now. He's been a faithful brother in my life. From that time, I also started wanting to get involved in youth group and our church and our activities like that. Um, I would have maybe made so many people frustrated by my passion, but it was also my ignorance. But I thank you all for giving me that place for me to practice my faith life. You know, And uh, Georgie Cherton is another inspiration in my life. Uh, he taught us the way of Jesus youth, like young people being alive in the church. And ever since then, I started growing in the life of faith and people molding me and uh, Cherton's and Jetis who would be able to guide me into my faith life and my family life. And like that, I ended up marrying Princey. I ended up having five children who are the joy of my life. I get to live by my parents. I think of my life as the story of the prodigal son who came home, and the next day after the party is when real life begins. And I, I thank you all for always having been like a place of a comfort of faith, all the people who lived and died as part of our community and those who are living with me here now. Thank you for enduring me. Thank you for loving me. And let us all build the kingdom of God. Thank you, Binichirta, for the very honest, heartfelt testimony. Um, in the Mother's Forum and in the MCYM group, the form had been sent out to sign up for uh, anybody who is interested for the, to give the testimony and so far, no one has done it. So unless there is somebody signing up, there won't be anybody next week to give the testimony. And there is a sheet of paper in the back too. So please uh, sign up if you would like to give the testimony. Again, this is a way we can share not only what God gave to us, but also the uh, ways in which other people can reflect on what gave us and be strengthened in our faith. Okay. So please share your testimonies. Don't be, don't be shy, don't be embarrassed, don't be afraid. We are one family. We are here to help each other grow up. Okay? Uh, so please sign up for the testimony. There is a sheet in the back and I'll be sending it on the church WhatsApp group also. Uh, if anyone would like to have confession and if they are stuck at home or if it is at a time when we don't have regular confessions here, let me know, okay? Okay. I will come to you, okay? What matters is that your soul is saved, that you are ready to die at any moment. Okay, this is the true sign of a Christian, that you are ready to die at any moment, and you are happy to welcome that opportunity to be with God. Okay, so if anyone would like to celebrate the sacrament of uh, confession, let me know at any time, any place, I'll be there. Anything else that need to be said? 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 Anything else that need to be said?
Okay, so we'll have the choir meeting after mass. We'll have the altar servers meeting after mass. Catechism next week starts at what time? 9.25. 9 what? 9.25, yes, 9.45. 9.25, so come before that, okay? Thank you. Kaimutanetu, umputu vera.